Mega Holding Berhad is the world's largest producer of synthetic rubber glove. It is used specifically in the healthcare sector to indicate that the company is a manufacturer of original equipment. Aside from its own brand, which manufacturers high-quality laboratory and surgical glove. As hospitals begin to expand and switch from latex to nitri glove in industrialized economies, the company has been steadily growing. Apex Healthcare Berhad with operating branches in Malaysia and Singapore and offices in Vietnam and Myanmar is a major healthcare company headquartered in Malaysia. Apex Healthcare Berhad established as a retail pharmacy at Melaka in 1962. Today, their core expertise is in the growth, manufacturer, sales and marketing, distribution and wholesales of pharmaceuticals and products for consumer healthcare. Irfan is me and I will be explaining the trend analysis and comparison between Apex Healthcare Berhad and Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad in terms of liquidity and leverage ratio. Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad showed an uptrend movement from 2017 until 2020 for both quick ratio and current ratio. Meanwhile, Apex Healthcare Berhad fluctuated throughout the 5 years. However, Apex still managed to be better than Hatta Lega in both quick ratio and current ratio. This indicates that Apex of Kebrahad had better skills in meeting their short-term obligations without having to rely on other liquid assets such as inventory. Moreover, both companies had an upward trend for networking capital, yet Hatalega Holdings Berhad were the better company than Apex. This explains that Hatalega has greater additional funds than Apex and they could use it to invest in other activities. Overall, Apex of Kebrahad has a better performance than Hatalega Holdings Berhad. In liquidity ratio. Moving on to leverage ratio, as we can see from the chart, Hatalega Holdings Berhad's debt to equity ratio fluctuated in all five years. Meanwhile, Apex of Kebrahad had a downtrend in the last three years, yet it is still not good enough. This explains that Hatalega Holdings Berhad doesn't depend much on their bank loans. Instead, they rely more on their shareholder funds. As of the debt ratio and times interest earned, both companies fluctuate in all five years. However, there is a slight difference in debt ratio and from the chart, it shows that Apex of Kebrahad had a better debt ratio than Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad. This indicates that Apex of Kebrahad have better ability than Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad in paying their liabilities with their assets. Moreover, Apex of Kebrahad had a higher times interest earned than Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad as it spikes to more than 40,000 times during 2017 due to its low interest charges. Overall, Apex of Kebrahad had a greater performance than Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad in leverage ratio. Next ratio will be presented by Nur Shafika. Based on the graph above, activity ratio for both company, Hatta Lega Holdings Berhad and Apex of Kebrahad shows a slightly different on the span of 5 years from 2016 to 2020. But to compare these two companies, Hatta Lega show a better activity ratio for inventory turnover and average collection period as compared to Apex. Through the graph, Hatta Lega ratio was increased drastically until it reached its peak at 7.97 times in 2020, while Apex showed a downtrend starting in 2018. And therefore, we can see that Hatta Lega is more efficient in using inventory assets, where they often sold and replaced its inventory during the counter period. Same goes to average collection period. Hatta Lega show a better ratio than Apex, even though their ratio slowly decreased from year to year. Meaning to say that Apex company was not able to collect their debt on time, while Hatta Lega managed to collect debt with the lowest at only 57 days in 2016, than Apex which it states 67 days in 2020. While for the fixed asset turnover, Apex somehow outperformed Hatta Lega as it reached 2020. This indicates that for the past five years, Apex were able to use their fixed assets and total assets efficiently in order to generate revenues. As you can see on the graph, Apex fixed asset turnover shows a huge gap as compared with Hatta Lega, although the ratio slowly decreased. Therefore, Hatta Lega does not use their assets as effective as how Apex used theirs. Same goes to total asset turnover. In the span of five years, Apex managed to utilize their total asset very well in comparison with Hatta Lega. So in conclusion, both companies' activity ratio shows their own performance, whereby Hatta Lega more better in managing inventory and collect debt, while Apex expert in using assets efficiently. As a result, 
Both companies should improve their operating performance for every ratio so that they can manage their financial health very well in the near future. So that's all for the activity ratio. Next, we shall look into which company's profitability ratio are much more better that can be presented by our next presenter, Aisha. On the graph above, it shows that in 2017, the company was able to make 26.93% more profit as compared in the following years. Meanwhile, for Apex at Cabar Height got the highest percentage in year 2018 because of the company was doing well in their sales and minimizing their cost of goods sold. Next is Operation Profit Margin. The highest operation profit margin for both company in the span of 5 years is in 2018, which is 22.21% for Hatta de Gaberhide and 9.44% for Apex Hat Gaberhide. Based on the graph, we can see that Hatta de Holding Berhide got the highest percentage compared to Apex Hat Gaberhide. It is because Hatta de Holding Berhide are managed to generate in its profit after all the expenses have been deducted. Moreover, both company has the highest percentage in 2018 for all the ratios above. Furthermore, Harta Lega got the highest percentage for those ratios compared to Apex Healthcare. Last but not least, Harta Lega Berhad improved its profitability through operations as evidenced by an increase in all of profitability ratios. Compared to Apex Healthcare Berhad, all of the ratios showing a decrease. It shows that Harta Lega Berhad is able to keep its profit despite the higher cost of goods sold. Even though they are decreased in certain ratio in certain year, Hatta Lega Berhad are able to keep steady ratios better than Apex at Berhad. It indicates that the company can manage their sales as well as company's operation. For Apex at Berhad, they can improve its profitability ratios with manage company's costs like premises, supplier, and others. Thus, they have to expand market by doing a research of economic condition and customer. In conclusion, Harta Lega Berhad is better than Apex Hatka Berhad for the year 2016 to 2020 and Harta Lega Berhad might able to run their company's operations smoothly in the future. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. For market value, we can see on the graph a new share for Apex was decreased drastically in 2018. This happened because drastically increased income share of Apex in 2018. Despite increasing income share, Apex net profit still increased but in small value that's not enough to cover the number of common shares. While Harta Lega earning per share is stable every year, which is the changes in earning per share is little every year compared to Apex which makes Harta Lega outperform Apex in 2018 and 2020. For dividend per shares, Apex Financial Manager had decided to decrease its funds for their shareholders in 2019 and 2020 respectively because they didn't achieve higher net profit in those two years, while Telegram maintaining their funds for their shareholders over the five years which is the changes of dividend per share is not over than 0.5 cent every year. However, dividend pay or ratio graph for Apex had decreased in 2016 and 2017, but in 2019 and 2020, the graph rose drastically again although they had decreased in earning per share in 2019 and 2020. While Hata Lega not make any drastic changes in dividend payout ratio because their earning per share is increased and decreased in small amount. Next, dividend yield graph for Apex decreased every year, while Hata Lega has fluctuation in their dividend yield. Decreasing in dividend yield means that the company want to increase its return earning and higher dividend yield means company want to give higher return for their shareholders. We can see that in price and ratio graph, Apex provide higher return to their shareholder than Hata Lega. This makes the ratio for Apex is lower than Hata Lega. Hata Lega keep their return earning higher than Apex in order to prevent their market price fall because of higher returns tend to higher decrease in market value which directly decreasing the price and ratio. Based on the graph, this also shows that Hata Lega's shareholders that bought their share are High, expecting higher return in their future, but a pet shareholder keep earning higher dividend despite waiting more dividend in the future. For the conclusion, the lower liquidity ratio and higher debt to equity ratio are the reasons why Hatalega Holding Berhad can give higher return for just order. To make them more competitive, Hatalega needs to re strategize their management in every aspect to ensure their profits can be used to expand their business and give higher return to their stockholders. This way, more investors will invest in their company, make them more competitive with Apex company. Apex ensure the availability of their liquidity and always meet the short-term obligation. They also ensure that their debt always in minimum amount. This will lead them far from insolvency.